I'm Ushi Izumi Ushiyama. I'm from Ashikaga University. You heard Professor Harashina talked about Bushido. When he was a principal at a high school in Japan, what he told as a principal was, do the nearest do. <coughs> I think this is the core of the environmental activities which relates to the taking actions that you can take. I wasn't expecting the talk about Bushido in this kind of symposium. And Professor Harashina is working in the connection between the commerce and industry but I because I'm teaching engineering in detail I would like to talk about how we can do activities in the field of engineering and one more thing there are different cases that I would like to introduce to you the recently the late Ms. Ogata, who was the chair of JICA, and we got funds from JICA, and we were doing the renewable energy project in Kenya in partnership with JICA. So here are the contents of my talk today. The first, I would like to introduce how we are working towards more clean renewable energy use in Ashikaga University and what kind of facilities and devices that we use. This is actually the place located in our campus. We call it Wind and Sun Square in Ashikaga Institute of Technology. And we have small windmills to generate electricity, which is located in the park so anyone can enter within our campus. Sometimes we have a visitor, such as high school students and also students from different schools. I think we have around 7,000 visitors per year. I think it takes about two hours from here to visit this square. I'm sure it will be such a fun. And our university, one of the characteristics of our university is a triple hybrid generation system. What triple hybrid means is the combination of solar, wind combination, which actually depends on the climate and weather changes. Of course, if there's no wind, the windmill doesn't work. And if there's no sound, we cannot use solar power. But there's one stable power resource that we can use, which is a biomass. Actually, we can control and create by ourselves so that by using the biomass, PV, and wind in combination, we will create more stable and sustainable energy generation system. And also, a small water power can be utilized. This is a the facility facility that we use for biomass power generation. Here what I'm pointing is where we put wood chips into and gasify these chips. This is a lottery engine that can moved 20 kilowatt power generator. So where we bring these wood biomass chips is a city called Kiryu next to, next to the location of a university. And when they make use of wood, there are uh, excess of wood chips that cannot be used for industrial purposes. So we need to dispose of these wood chips, paying about 100 bucks. But we can bring these as a source for energy to our university. So these wood manufacturers do not need to pay. 
thousand bucks, and also we can reduce the CO2, which is a win-win situation for both of us. So this is the picture that explains triple hybrid system. So each panel shows how much electricity each system is generating, and we have like a kids generated kids visitors, they can visually see what's going on in our system. And this is a photo from about four years ago. This is a 50 kilowatt PV generation system in our university. Actually, a little bit smaller than the ones that Mr. Harashin explained earlier. And you can see the cherry blossoms in here. And we are taking data, of course. Solar power battery It's shown in the orange. Orange is a solar radiation, and when even a small cloud passes over the generator, the electricity can drop, so it's really unstable. So in areas like Hawaii, it can work, but in Japan, it can be very unstable. In addition, at our university on our campus, um, we made a museum which uh, shows wind power and solar power and also there are sun, sun clocks and other uh, this museum shows many things that represents renewable energy so um, the world wind energy uh, タイムラインで行きましょうか。え、これ私どもの大学で、え、今から で、彼が私のところ2回ほど訪ねてきてるんですけども、え、私も非常に可愛がっていただきました。え、それからしばらくしてアメリカの古くねる学会とですね、合同で、これヒューストンでやったんですが、合同研究発表会なんかもやっております
And you may be surprised at this, but in developing countries, there are not many hospitals. And so, of course, there are doctors who make the rounds and go to various places. And they use small refrigerators to store vaccines. And we've been using this type of power generator to power those refrigerators. And in fact, the uh, UN has uh, stated that they want to use these in that way. And so this was not a way of using it I had initially thought of, but it's very effective. And so we have many members who are making um, wind generators that you can put together, and then also hydropower generators. And so ideally you would want a water turbine, but they're not very easy to get a hand of, so it's important to be able to make your own for less money. And so we've been experimenting with making those. And so this is a um, biomass energy. It appears that the time is running out, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, this is a normal diesel car. However, uh, we actually use um, the leftover oil from making tempera, and uh, we've used this as uh, um, fuel for car for the car to make the car run. And this is kind of the projects that we work on. Uh, this is a solar cooker. It's going to come back later. Um, there's a lot of different types. Uh, we've been to Nepal, Philippines. Um, we've had a lot of uh, activism going on in these different places. Uh, this is called a water hammer pump. Uh, it actually does not use a, uh, any motors to um, make uh, to pump up water as long as there's a, a difference in height. Uh, we also call it a hydraulic ram. Um, one of the members called Eno um, and he has uh, used made the oscillating water pump temp. Uh, this is research on uh, hydrogen inhaler alloy for CO2 curtailment. curtailment. And we've done, this for, we've done this research for about three years and we've gotten pretty positive results. Uh, this is a good class that we ran in Azubu High School. And this is kind of uh, bragging for myself, but um, I'm Shinohara. Uh, I'm on the same uh, textbook as Shinohara, uh, Professor Shinohara. And I get a lot of uh, requests um, from elementary schools. So this is me giving lectures uh, in elementary schools. And this is, this pic is from last June. This is in Yokohama Futaba All Girls Elementary School. Actually, it was about like two days ago we had the same kind of thing with the Professor Nakajo. This is a delivery and experiments at kindergarten. So I got a pioneer award from World Renewable Energy Congress or Ministry of Education in Japan. And I think we are kind of running out of time. So what is appropriate technology? So this is Mr. Nakata Shoichi. He used to be working in the government, but he quitted. Uh, he is the senpai of Mr. Nakamura Tetsu. Uh, this windmill is something that I had designed, which could be uh, used anywhere in the world, uh, built using abundant materials. Uh, these are all showing the windmills. Uh, this is from the Philippines when Pinatubo, uh, Mount Pinatubo had uh, erupted. This is my team member and uh, this is a project done in Peru. 
uh, this is me. Um, I had students come with me to Vietnam and built uh, the solar solar panel. Uh, this is from. And so this is a special kind of wind turbine called the Savonius. And you put on flexible solar panels, and it uh, takes the power as the sun shines. And we received a reward for this at an American conference. And then these are the edgy cookers made by Professor Nakajo. And this is a large type solar cooker. We implemented this project in Kenya as well, and the um, agricultural ma uh, manager of Kenya came. And uh, praised our work there, and was very happy. We've also been doing a high school science camp, where we use the solar cookers, the small scale wind turbines, and then have them hand make uh, PV panels as well. And of course, they've been very good students. Um, just to give me some, uh, a, little, a couple more minutes, um, I'd like to talk about uh, the example of uh, the work that we've done in Kenya. Um, um, our uh, university has signed an agreement with uh, the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. And this is one of the projects that we did there. It's called the Bright Project. Uh, this is the vice um, pr uh, principal, and he actually has uh, experience of studying in Japan. Um, the aim of the project was the development of uh, individuals, uh, human resources, as well as rural e electrification. This is uh, the gasification of rice husks. This is uh, the fermentation of water hyacinth. Uh, and to extract uh, methane gas from it. And uh, more explanation will follow. Um, here's us uh, cooking using the methane gas that came out from the Hyansith. Uh, this is uh, a small hydro powered uh, water pump. And here is. Uh, the Lea Lake Victoria in Kenya and as you can see um, this is all uh, water hyacinths and we took all of that and uh, extracted methane gas and the concept was to um, lend a hand to uh, people who are um, stuck or in trouble in the aims of uh, helping those in need and uh, this is the uh, holistic experiment and something that I've always said is that uh, as a civilization or as a human as human race we started off um, uh, living as people who are going on energy hunting um, where we just harvest energy from the earth and how did we come to where we are now well we started learning uh, agriculture by cultivating the land and uh, being able to make our own produce, we believe that we can do the same sort of thing, cultivating energy, um, not just crops. Um, even if we use the energy, um, with renewable energy, we wouldn't have to lose the energy that we are using. And that would lead to a true sustainable society. Um, they're, they're telling me to wrap it up, so uh, I'll return later. And uh, with you, there should be a small book um, that I've written, and I'll uh, return to explain it. Thank you very much.